Hello guys and girls, this is SarahSK and today I am back with another Lost Content video. Today I'm going to be showcasing a lot of Lost Armors in Dark Souls 2 and I don't think anyone has covered these and they are pretty epic, you know, and make sure you watch through whole, the whole video because there are some really interesting things. There are new things and there are things uh, that were in Dark Souls 1 and they uh, left them in the files of Dark Souls 2. So yeah, let's get into the video. The first armor set is Smose set and uh, as you can see it does not have the head or the leggings but the leggings are underground like it removes your leggings and they appear underground if they if you move they move and if you didn't notice there's Smose hammer also in the game files check out this video to see Smose hammer in action or click the link in the description and yeah as you can see those are Smose leggings and yeah let's go to the next armor next armor is the Crimson set from Dark Souls 1 and as you can see they have the icons of them uh, of the full set left in the game files and they're not the same as Dark Souls 1 as you can see and uh, if you try to put any of these pieces none appear except for the leggings and they, the texture for it appear wrong and I used modding in a old video to make or replicate his armor if you, you can click the video to watch it or you can click the link in the description to watch it it's pretty epic actually I was able to replicate it quite uh, like perfectly the next armor set is dusk set and this set was in Dark Souls 1 which was worn by Princess Dusk and it does not have uh, it has only the body part and the leggings as you can see but the leggings are underground same as most ha as most set and but uh, like ha the other half is cut from her uh, you know leggings the next set is the Witch set, and this set was worn by Witch Patrice in Dark Souls 1. It really looks epic in Dark Souls 2, like it's really really good, but it doesn't have the arms or the leggings, but the hat is also underground, which is pretty sad. You know, I don't know, FromSoft has a bad taste of uh, keeping stuff in game and remove them. The next set is the uh, Sorcerer set from Dark Souls 1, and the only thing available in this is the body part. And, uh, and the arms and the head the leggings are not there but the head you can see it lurking underground which is the hat of the sorcerer uh, you can see it quite clearly right now and uh, you can put other leggings like in, instead of those and they'll appear quite fine and the same thing for the head uh, the next set is uh, not kind of a set it's kind of the hollow body of the uh, character like you can put the body piece or you, you can split them into pieces like the, uh, it differs from the color of the hollow in Dark Souls 2 like this is more of a bluish hollow you can say it's not fully green and you can see you can put any piece you want like you can make any armor uh, you want and just make one part of yourself hollowed like you can see I've made my legs only hollowed and um, as you can see now I'm hollow but when I put these nothing changes it's like uh, it's the same thing which was not the same case when you were a human but the only thing different is the leggings like this uh, the pants he is wearing they are different this way they are more tattered uh, which is pretty cool actually like uh, this really makes you feel like a hollow like you are like even your clothes are made from dumpster you can say and it looks cool you know this way uh, and uh. the next set I'm going to showcase is the Maiden set from Dark Souls 1 and this was worn by Rhea from Dark Souls 1. You can see uh, the body part is available only and the leggings which are underground same as uh, the other armors Smo and all these. The next armor set is the Wanderer set from Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1. But what's different in this one is that the body part has a cape. Now this set does not include the head or the arms or the leggings. It's only the body part but I have put it to showcase the set. But it seems like the cape isn't functioning well as a cape, like it is stuck with the leggings, so like there is no cloth mechanics in them, you can say. Next thing is a destroyed Elite Knight set. Now this might have been used to test how well, like armors are broken, but it's pretty cool to see a set that is actually looking like this. You can see it when I move clearly when I remove the bloom and it's really looking good actually like it can be used as a set it really looks cool as if you're like you got out of a war or something the next set is the monastery set or the painting guarding set from Dark Souls 1 and as you can see 
the difference between it uh, and Dark Souls 2's version, I think this one is Dark Souls 1 version is better, it's sharper, has more lightning, and this one includes the leggings and the body part. And as you can see, the leggings are underground also. And as you can see, they are more detailed than Dark Souls 2. I don't know why, just more detail and looks really more awesome. The next thing is Katarina armor from Dark Souls 1. And as you can see, it is more shinier than Dark Souls 2's versions, uh, version, as you can see right now. Uh, yeah, this one is more paler, but the model is kind of like smoother in this one. So I say I like this one more. I don't know. I like the model looks pretty much cooler. The next thing is a low quality imported set. And as you can see, uh, it's like... I don't know, it's in low quality, low poly everything for this imported set. Even the leggings are not textured well. So this seems like a test thing or something. The next thing is the mask of the father. And sadly, it cannot be worn on your face. As you can see, your face is up there, but this one is not worn on your face. I was really, really sad that they did not let you wear it on your face, which is pretty sad actually. The next thing is the Great Lord's Crown, which is Gwyn's crown from Dark Souls 1. And also the same as the Mask of the Father, you cannot wear it on your face or your head. Uh, because, uh, you know, they were testing them and they probably did not rig them right to the skeleton of the player. The next item is the Crown of the Dark Sun. And uh, this is Gwendolyn's crown, which you fight in Dark Souls 1 and is an NPC and the uh, leader of the Covenant, the uh, Dark Blade, I think it was named. And yeah, it's pretty cool looking in Dark Souls 2. I do not know why they have removed it. They could have put it as an Easter egg or something like that. The next thing is the Chain uh, Helm, which is from the Chain set from Dark Souls 1. The only thing available is the helmet. There is no uh, body part or anything else. The next armor is the leggings of the golem, which is the iron golem which you fight in Dark Souls 1 before you go to An Orlando. There is nothing available but the leggings, the, the armor and the head are not available, sadly. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and expect a lot more lost content. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed and I guess I'll see you later.